Hello and welcome to Learning VMware Horizon 7 Second Edition by Pax Publishing. This course will give you an overview of VMware Horizon 7 and will enable you to get started by covering some of the key topics required for you to plan and deploy your own Horizon environment and then go ahead and start to install and configure some of the different key components. So let me start by way of an introduction. My name is Peter Von Oven and I've spent the last 25 years or so of my IT career working with customers and partners to design technology solutions aimed at delivering true business value. I've been involved in numerous large-scale enterprise projects and deployments, and you may well have seen me present at key IT events, such as VMworld, IP Expo, and various VMUGs and Citrix user group meetings across the UK. I've also held senior pre-sales roles and pre-sales management roles for some of the key vendors, including Fujitsu, HP, Citrix, and VMware. And for the last four years, I've been awarded VMware V Expert status. Over the past 15 years or so, I've focused my skills and experience by specializing in the desktop and application virtualization space. And as a direct result, in 2016, I founded my own company, Droplet Computing, where I work today as the Chief Technology Officer. When it comes to writing, I got my first taste of writing books when I assisted with some of the chapters in a book entitled Building End User Computing Solutions with VMware View which then led on to me writing six packed titles, VMware Horizon Mirage Essentials, Workspace Essentials, View Essentials, Mastering VMware Horizon 6, which was co-written with Barry Coombs, Learning VMware App Volumes, and the most recent book, Mastering VMware Horizon 7, Second Edition, on which this course is based. A third of this edition of this book is currently in production and will be published in early 2019. So let's get started and let's take a look at what we're going to cover in the sections throughout this course. In section one, we're going to look at setting up an example lab environment that will be used throughout the course to demonstrate the various installation and configuration tasks. With the example lab built, in section two, we're going to discuss in more detail the different components that make up the Horizon solution, components such as the connection server, for example. In section three, we will discuss how you would approach and design your Horizon architecture giving you some best practice hints and tips along the way. In section four, we're gonna start the actual installation and the configuration of the Horizon software. And in section five, we're gonna build our first VDI desktop based on Windows 7. We will then build a second virtual desktop machine in section six, this time using Windows 10 as the operating system. With example desktops now built, in section seven, we're gonna look at how to create and configure desktop pools, discussing what is a desktop pool, and demonstrating how they work. And then finally in section eight, we're gonna look at how to optimize the virtual desktop machines so that they deliver the best performance to the end user, along with the different options for how an end user would actually connect to their virtual desktop machine. So let's get started, and let's introduce you to the first section. In the first section of the course, we're gonna build the foundation architecture ready for installing Horizon in our example lab environment. 